Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the chemistry of winter set by Mel Chemistry, we will cover a Christmas tree with snow. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the Christmas tree experiment, you will need sodium chloride, potassium ferrocyanide solution, liquid soap, a plastic vial, a petri dish, a paper template of a Christmas tree, a vial holder, a measuring spoon, and a syringe without a needle. Take a beaker from the starter kit and prepare some cold and hot water in advance. Add two big measuring spoons of sodium chloride to the plastic vial. Then, add one big spoon of potassium ferrocyanide. Using the syringe, fill the vial the rest of the way with water. Close it with the cap and shake thoroughly to mix the contents. Put the vial into the holder. Fill the beaker approximately three quarters of the way with hot water. Then put the two items together into the beaker. Wait for five minutes. In hot water, the solubility of sodium chloride increases, which means that more sodium chloride can dissolve in hot water than in cold water. Take the vial out of the beaker and remove the holder. Then pour the contents of the vial into the Petri dish. Add one drop of liquid soap. Being a surface active agent, the soap reduces the surface tension of the solution and makes it evenly spread across the bottom of the Petri dish. Assemble the Christmas tree from the template and put it into the Petri dish. Due to the capillary effect, the solution will spread all the way through the paper Christmas tree and gradually cool down. The solubility of the sodium chloride will decrease, and as a result, the sodium chloride will precipitate in the form of beautiful snow-like crystals covering the tree. Potassium ferrocyanide will make the crystals look fluffy. For the best results, do not disturb the tree for 12 hours. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.